Hi guys, this is Rakesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel. One of the subscriber is asking me uh, explain about new asset accounting in S4HANA. Okay. So in S4HANA we have new asset accounting and there are uh, certain changes. Uh, so let me point out one by one. So the first thing is in old asset accounting earlier. So earlier we needed delta depreciation area and these depreciation areas were created to post correction entry in non-leading ledgers. But in S4HANA there is no such problem. Your non-leading ledger is always having the right balances. There is no need for correction. So you don't need delta area in S4HANA. That is the biggest change. The other thing is earlier while running the depreciation you were getting four options. Ordinary depreciation, planned depreciation, unplanned depreciation, uh, restart. right? And there was limitation that ordinary depreciation you can run only once, you cannot run twice, right? But in S4 HANA there is no such limitation, you can run depreciation any number of time. If you are, uh, let us say out of thousands of assets, few assets are having problem. So depreciation will go ahead and get executed, get posted for all those assets which are good. And for those assets which are having some problem, there will be locks created. So you can fix those error and rerun the depreciation, there is no limitation on number of times you can run. SAP has made it made it much faster. So that is just a performance improvement. But other than that, functionality improvement, like I told you, there is no need for delta area and depreciation run. You can perform any number of times, which helps in faster month in closing. Yeah. For more uh, detailed comparison about the S4 HANA changes in other areas like AP, AR, GL, controlling. So do follow and do subscribe this channel. I'll be coming up with more detailed videos on other changes also. Thank you so much. Do not forget to like and subscribe my channel and see you soon with the next question. Thank you.